Bun 1.2 just released, and despite its name, it feels more like Bun 2.0. This isn't just bug fixes and performance improvements, it's packed with awesome features that take Bun to the next level, whether you just use it as a package manager or you build full applications. I mean, you can now build a complete full stack application with a bundled front end, HTTP server, database driver, API endpoints, and an S3 client, all from within Bun with minimal configuration. And trust me, this isn't me just overhyping it. So let's go ahead and dive into what makes this possible. And on top of that, why Bun is now the best package manager. Let's start with what I think is one of the coolest features, HTML imports. Bun can now replace your entire front end tool chain with a single import statement. When you import a HTML file for use with bun.serve, Bun automatically bundles all of your script and link tags, exposes them as static routes and serves the optimized result. This is all aided by Bun's new built-in CSS parser and bundler. It's been completely rewritten from Rust to Zig for better integration. It not only combines and minifies your CSS, but it can even handle Tailwind with just three lines of code using the Bun plugin Tailwind. All of this is then served through the new static routes that are up to 40% faster than if you did it the manual way. Think about that. No more complex webpack configs, possibly even no more V, and no more fighting with build tools. Just import your HTML and you're ready to go. You know the only thing easier than that? Hitting the subscribe button. For database connectivity, Bun has added even more support. While SQLite has been built in since Bun 1, they've now added a built-in Postgres client with a MySQL one coming soon. What's even more impressive is that Bun's SQL implementation is 50% faster than Postgres.js and it's completely API compatible, making it a drop-in replacement. You get all of the features that you'd expect. You get prepared statements, connection pooling, and query pipelining. But what if you need cloud storage? Well, luckily, Bun 1.2 adds a built-in S3 client that's five times faster than using the AWS SDK with Node.js. You can read, write, and delete files from S3 buckets, generate pre-signed URLs, and even use an S3 URL protocol within the bun.file or fetch calls. This integration is so seamless, it feels like you're working with your local files. What's really cool though, is that when you use bun.serve with S3 files, it automatically generates pre-signed URLs instead of downloading and then re-uploading files through your server. So it's gonna save you on bandwidth and processing time. They've even added support for automatic multi-part uploads for large files, making it perfect for production use. What about those of us that just use Bun as a package manager then? Well, luckily, this update brings major improvements. The headline feature is the new text-based lock file. This is going to replace the old binary one. This is going to solve some major pain points like being unable to view the lock file changes on GitHub or even solve your merge conflicts. Plus, despite the fact that they've moved to a text format, they've made it 30% faster than before. They've also added highly requested features like JSON-C support for package.json, so you can finally add in some comments in there to explain why you pinned a problematic dependency so you don't forget when you look at it in six months' time. There's also full npm RC support, so it follows your npm configuration, and there's even a new bun outdated command to check for your package updates. You can even publish packages directly to npm now using bun publish, and they've added the ability to patch broken dependencies locally without having to fork them. The patches are then stored as regular .patch files in your repo, which makes them super easy to review and share with your team. Now let's talk about one of the main sticking points with Bun, and that was the Node.js compatibility. This has been greatly improved in Bun 1.2, and they actually now run the full Node.js test suite on all of their builds, with 90% of the tests currently passing. They've added support in this update for HTTP2, which makes Express run three times faster than it would on Node.js. They've added DGRAM, which enables UDP socket support, and they've added an API for that as well. They've added Cluster for multi-core processing, Zlib with two times faster compression, and even V8 modules. They even went as far as implementing V8 C++ APIs in JavaScript core to support legacy native modules. That's some serious dedication. This means many more NPM packages that use native add-ons will now just work in Bun without any special configuration or you running into any weird issues. Bun test got some major upgrades as well. It now supports JUnit and LCov reporting for way better CI CD integration, making it easier to use tools like Jenkins and GitLab. They've added inline snapshots so you can see your test expectations right in your code. And they've added a test only function for more focused debugging. The expect API has even been expanded with new matches like contain value and have returned. And they've also improved error handling for uncore exceptions that happen between your tests. All of this just adding even more credibility to just using bun for everything now. 
For deployment, Bun now includes Muscle support, enabling it to run on Alpine Linux and other Muscle-based distributions, which is perfect for those minimal Docker containers, although do watch out for some performance implications. They've also improved standalone executable compilation with cross-compilation support, meaning you can build Windows executables from Linux and vice versa. The new bytecode caching feature can make applications like ESLint start up two times faster, and you can even customize icons and console visibility for Windows builds now. The JavaScript engine improvements are impressive too. They've added support for new ECMAScript features like import attributes, the using declaration, promise resolvers, iterator helpers, and the new in a array methods as well. The using declaration is particularly exciting as it brings that Python style context managers to JavaScript, which should make resource cleanup much more reliable. Finally, performance improvements are everywhere. HTTP2 is two times faster, path.resolve is 30 times faster, fetch is two times faster at DNS resolution, JSON pass is up to four times faster, and bun.serve has two times more throughput. They've even improved JavaScript performance on Windows. This update is actually insane. Looking at the release notes, there's still so much more I could have covered. UDP sockets, improved JavaScript bundling, and even the ability to compile and run C code from JavaScript. To all the Bun developers who worked on this, you've made this video challenging to condense by shipping so many impressive features. Let me know in the comments if you're already using Bun or if this release makes you want to start. While you're down there, hit subscribe and as always, see you in the next one.